Here in Austria, the Zemmering Basis Tunnel project is one component of the railway from the Baltic to the Adriatic. Its centerpiece is a 27 km long tunnel under the Zemmering mountain range between Vienna and Graz. Our main challenge is rescuing miners if anything happens. We have a safety concept that starts inside with a rescue container. Workers can stay there safely for about 24 hours. Then it's the fire department's job to get the miners out. The problem is the penetration depth. Breathing apparatuses don't have a large enough air supply to get all the way in, to where the blasting is taking place at the front of the tunnel. After all, there's about an 800 meter gap. Of course, this places special demands on the rescue vehicles. If a fire occurs in a tunnel and smoke develops, you can imagine that a combustion engine which needs oxygen to run doesn't work anymore. So we look for a vehicle that runs on electricity and has two control stands, so you don't have to turn around in the tunnel. The vehicle is equipped with radar control. It has the necessary lighting and it has four seats, one of which is variable, so you can transport a person lying on a stretcher. The vehicle has an air supply of about 42,000 litres. All the passengers are secured. All functions can be controlled via screens. And the vehicle has all-wheel steering and is an all-terrain vehicle. The heart of the system is, of course, the air supply, meaning that each seat has a connection to the central air supply. All passengers get their air from the large volume tank, with 42,000 cubic meters, until they arrive on the scene. Then they disconnect from the system and use their own air supplies. This lets us penetrate deep into the mountain. In addition, there is filling equipment, or a so-called booster system. If the crew has to work inside for a longer time, they can go to the vehicle, connect to it and directly reinflate their compressed air bottles, and thus increase the length of time they can work. We have a permanent extinguishing water pipe inside the tunnel that is lengthened as the tunnel progresses. Every 250 meters there's a hydrant with an outlet for 1,000 liters per minute. So there's enough extinguishing water if a fire occurs. We handle the call for tenders by drawing up a specification together with the tunnel operator, with Urbe Bay together with the purchasing department and with the technology department of the Lower Austrian Provincial Fire Brigade Association. Then we started looking for potential bidders, until we finally came up with a product that met our requirements. It's been a long road, almost a year and a half. And after you have the chassis, of course, you need a superstructure. The best solution is a general contractor who can then take care of everything, including the firefighting technology. In the end, we found a very competent partner in Magirus. Breaking new ground here, with electric mobility, with breathing apparatuses, and transporting a team into there, it was well implemented, I have to say. These vehicles are now going into service. They're being presented today with the tunnel operator and Urbe Bay, and then they officially go into service.